Bitcoin is seeing low volatility at the moment. And uh, this is, a, generally speaking, a good thing for crypto. Uh, the more the volatility, the less it's, being, it's able to be used as a store of value. Um, so to see these type of uh, flat movements is, at the end of the day, a good thing. Um, is it fair value? By nature, yes. I mean, there was a report from uh, Bitwise over the weekend uh, which showed really the nature of uh, Bitcoin volumes. Um, and generally speaking, the end result of the report was that by nature, Bitcoin has a very good way of finding true value that's based on market pricing. So uh, if the market is uh, at a specific level and specifically when it's trading at a specific level for an extended period of time, then we can say that yes, it is at true value. Last week, the Fed came out in strong support of the financial markets, um, but they've been in strong support of the financial markets for about 10 years. Um, we see a very large correlation uh, when the Fed is supportive of the markets, uh, the, the, the stocks tend to go up. Um, over the course of 2017, we saw that um, correlating very strongly with Bitcoin. And then 2018, when they were less supportive of the markets, the stocks fell and so did Bitcoin. So the fact that they're supporting right now uh, is overall a good sign. It means that there's more liquidity, there's more available money for investments uh, that can go into the crypto market. Um, the question is how far do they take it? Because already today we can see the market starting to decline a little bit. Um, there is a danger here of the Fed overstimulating the markets. And in that case, uh, there is a possibility that you know the stocks can come down uh, if investors start to uh, not believe in that narrative anymore. Um, and at that point, we would need to see how the cryptos react. So um, the jury is still out. Back to extremely large valuation is in my mind a vote of confidence for the crypto market from the incumbent Wall Street financial institutions. Uh, BACT is kind of the Wall Street solution for storing and spending cryptos. They want to make it a lot easier for people to uh, you know, pay with crypto at the supermarket and to hold crypto in a custodial service. Um, because they have this this high valuation is basically an indication uh, that Wall Street is wants to see crypto succeed and they want to be a part of that. Um, more or less, their services uh, include, you know, having having a futures market and uh, possibly a debit card where you can spend crypto. Uh, we're not quite sure yet, and we've seen uh, significant delays. They were supposed to be live uh, in mid December. Uh, they then changed that to mid January, and at the moment they don't have a live release date. So what we can see is that um, most likely due to regulatory hurdles, they're having a little bit of issue coming online. Um, but confidence is high that they will be able to overcome those issues. Uh, the CFTC says that this is already uh, one of the most prominent uh, things that they're working on at the moment. Uh, so hopefully we get some good news pretty soon. As soon as the CFTC and the SEC sign off, I'm pretty sure that BACT would be ready within a week or two. We can definitely look at the rankings and maybe learn a little bit from it. Um, overall, though, I would say this is not uh, the, uh, the, the definitive source of information that we should go to for crypto. It's kind of like uh, taking fashion advice from Ali G. Um, you know, China, the Chinese authorities ostensibly have banned crypto trading in the country. Um, so it's a bit strange that they, you know, that they are the ones who are trying to put out now reports on which cryptos are better than other cryptos. Uh, the fact that Bitcoin is at number 14 is also very telling, where most crypto participants these days would say that Bitcoin is the dominant player. Uh, they're putting it way down on the list. This episode is sponsored by Trade Santa. Trade Santa is a cloud-based trading bot. Set it up in less than two minutes, trade multiple pairs, choose between long and short strategies, use tech analysis indicators, and see your results in real time. Trade Santa works 24-7 to get you the profit you set. The platform is already integrated with Binance, Bittrex, Bitfinex, and HitBTC. The link is in the description below. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.